Hello folks and welcome back to Lisa Loves and I am here today to do the second of two tag videos. Um, this is one, it's a really different one, a really fun one and this was created by Leo over at Gig Legion of Doom. If you're not subscribed and you love movies, get over and subscribe because he reviews so many movies, most of which you probably won't even have heard of, so pop over there and give him a sub. Um, so this is a 10 question tag and it's called the what would you do tag and it's kind of related a lot of to movies so just something a bit different something a bit fun. I will link Leo's original tag video um, in the description below. Um, you can see in his all the instructions he has even um, told you that you can use his graphics to to do your actual tag it may be easy. Um, and also he's got all the questions listed in his description so I will link that video for you guys to make it a little bit easier and um, let's get fired on with these questions. So question number one, which cute movie companion do you look after for at least a year? Your options there are Gizmo, Pikachu, Grogu and Baby Groot. Now I am not picking Gizmo because um, I don't want a chance if he's going to eat after midnight. I can't stop myself eating after midnight, never mind someone else. Pikachu, not really a big Pokemon fan. Um, Grogu, I find the Mandalorian a little bit dull, it has to be admitted. I do apologise, I apologise, I know that's not going to be popular. I am going to go with Baby Groot because Groot is cool, we love Groot. Groot's awesome, Groot can look after himself and Groot can probably look after me better than I can look after myself. So I'm going with Baby Groot. Number two. Which character do you take out on a date? Now we've got two lots of options here. Um, if your preference is ladies, we have Ava, Catwoman and Catherine Trammell. And if gentlemen, you have Kylo Ren, Loki or any incarnation of Dracula that you choose. I, I kind of like went back and forth about this one. I'm gonna have to go with Dracula and I am going to have to go with the Udo Kier Dracula. That man just has hypnotic eyes, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I will go with Udo Kier as Dracula. Number three, if you had to choose one toy to come to life in your room at night, like Toy Story, which do you pick? We've got the options of Skull Trooper, Starlight, Dipsy, Bumblebee, Donatello, Darth Vader, He-Man, Barbie or Leo unbranded adult toy. Now, for the, the males amongst us, I well, suppose it could be a male unbranded toy, couldn't it? If we're really getting down to it. Now, I wonder, did this mean that the toy was life-sized? But he said, no, it's the toy. So it, we wouldn't be able to have a life-sized He-Man, which is a bit disappointing. But um, from those, I have to pick He-Man because he's my favourite cartoon. He's my favourite character from all of the ones on the list. So um, I'll pick He-Man um, for the power of Skull, if nothing else. I'm number four. You've committed a crime. You can choose your punishment. Five years as Jabba the Hutt's slave or take your chances with the trap set by Jigsaw. What a fantastic question. Jabba the Hutt is repugnant, always horrible. Um, the other one could kill you. I am going to go with the trap set by Jigsaw. Maybe a bit of an odd choice, but I do not have five years of my life to be wasting sitting beside Jabba the Hutt. No. Um, I like to think that I'm quite, you know, switched on mentally. Um, and if I have to do something to save my own skin, I'm flipping well doing it. So, yeah, I think back to the traps and I think back to what people had to do. And some of it was, oh, I'm just thinking of pound of flesh and cutting off your own arm. That would be rather unpleasant. It really matters what the trap is, doesn't it? So, but it doesn't tell you what the trap is. It could be any of them. Could I go into someone's stomach to get out a key to open a bear trap? Yes. Could I go into my own eyeball? To... No. Right, I've changed my answer. I never thought that I would do this. I'm going to pick five years a slave of Jabba the Hutt. And that for me is just torturous in itself. But it's not going to kill me. Jabba the Hutt slave for five years. Uh, I'll not inflict the gold bikini on the lot of you. But yeah, that's my choice. Okay, um, number five, you're a rookie cop. Who do you pick as your movie cop partner? I think that most people's gonna give. Now, the weird thing is when I watch this with my husband, he thinks that everyone's going to answer one way and I think everyone's gonna answer another. So our options are John McLean, Marge Gunderson, Martin Riggs, Harry Callahan, James Carter and Nicholas Angel. I think everyone's gonna go with John McLean and my husband thinks everyone's gonna go with Harry Callahan. 
I am going to go with Martin Riggs. I was torn with John McLean, but I thought Martin Riggs was a little bit more of a loose cannon that would make me laugh. Um, and he's a bit more pretty to look at. That's a really awful reason to be choosing him, but yeah, I'm going to go with Martin Riggs. Number six, you are stuck on a desert island. And I obviously we have to assume we've got enough to eat and drink. Which two movies and one season of a TV show do you take as your only entertainment? And obviously we know that we've got something to play it on with unlimited battery. This was the one that required the most thought from me. And I still don't think I have the right answer. Um, TV show, I was going to go with Grey's Anatomy or House. Purely because I adore both of them. Um, Gregory House as a character is just, in, is just ingenious. I love him. Grey's Anatomy is really long. It's it's 17 seasons, so it's a lot to be watching. I I thought Game of Thrones. Um, I I did toss a lot out there. There was Game of Thrones, there was Breaking Bad, there was Medium. Um, there's a lot of TV shows I love. There was things like Bottom, the comedy show. Um, but I went with House or Grey's Anatomy. I've written both down. I, how, how am I supposed to... Right, I'm going to go with House. It's shorter. But I absolutely adore the characters there. You know, he's such a complex character and I think there's so much to get from the series. Oh my god, Dexter. I forgot about Dexter. I'm still going with House. Dexter's ending was absolutely flipping well atrocious. But they've, they've brought it back. So hopefully they will do something. Because oh my god. I love that show, but that ending. Jesus Christ. My two movies were Misery which is my most watched movie, which probably tells you a lot about me. What movie do you want to watch over and over again? Misery. Jesus. I just think it's a perfect movie. I love this. I love how the sound goes with the movie. I love the music. I love the acting. I just adore it. I love the tension. And my other choice is going to be completely on the flip side. See no evil, hear no evil, which is really on PC these days. But nothing else makes me laugh like it. And I want something that's going to make me laugh after watching Misery. So it's going to be House, Misery, and Say No Evil, Hear No Evil. Number seven. Pick two characters to defend you whilst the other four try to kill you. Now you may note that I am actually not reading the full wording on the screen there because I'm reading the questions from Leo's comment, from Leo's description. So um, it may be slightly different. So pick two characters to defend you while the other four try to kill you. A Optimus Prime, Conan, The Predator, Dracula, Jason Voorhees and Iron Man. Okay, that was quite easy for me. I went with Iron Man and Conan. You may think, why have you gone with Conan? He's a mere mortal. Well, Conan's Arnie and Arnie beat the Predator, didn't he? So I went with that logic. And then I thought Optimus Prime's massive. But then I thought Iron Man can blow him up. So yeah, Tony Stark, Iron Man can, can blow all the shit up. And Conan, well, he's quite pleasant to look at as well, we have to admit. And um, yeah, it's Arnie. It, yeah, Conan. Big barbarian man. Number eight. Who wins in a fight? The blob or the thing? Right, this is the one where Leo says where you live is what you need to take into consideration with this. I'm going to get myself into a lot of trouble here. I haven't seen the blob. Nor have I any particular desire to see the blob. I have seen the thing. Um, but my husband tells me, so it's his fault if this is wrong, that the only thing that can kill the blob is extreme cold temperature. I do live in Ireland, which isn't the warmest of places, but it's not freezing. So I'm going to go with the blob in that. The blob's going to win um, because we don't live in the Arctic. <laughs> I hope that's right. I have no idea. Sorry about that one. Number nine. Which team of three characters would you send on a secret rescue mission? Right, this is the one where the president has been kidnapped, isn't it? Right. This one, I went, I have to look and see what I wrote. Right, I went after much deliberation back and forth with Bruce Lee because he is the best at close combat. If if you're like, don't have your weapons, if your weapons are kicked away or whatever, Bruce Lee is going to kick your arse. I went with John Wick because he is also very good at close combat. He's a good fighter, but he usually has quite ingenious weapons. So um, that's going to help. And just to back up all that weaponage, I have chosen Rambo because yeah, a big machine gun, big strong guy. So we've got the weapons to shoot them. We've got a guy that's got weapons and he can fight really well. And in case of all weapons being lost, we've got Bruce Lee who can kick anybody's ass. So, yeah. Tell you what, there's a magpie looking in my... Oh my God, he's, he's looking even... There's a single magpie looking right in my window. He's on my fence. I wonder if I turn you around, can you see him? Oh, the fucker's just... 
It's just came off. This has nothing to do with the tag, folks. I do apologise. See him down there? He's not even flying away. There he is. Oh, he's away. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? I do apologise. I'm really superstitious about magpies. And that one magpie was sat on my fence staring in the window. And I don't like that. Right, let's get back to the tag. So we'd gone with um, Bruce Lee, John Wick and Rambo. On to number 10. Finally, number 10. Who would you cast? Right, this is a hard one, isn't it? We have to recast Han Solo, Leia and Luke. Really, really difficult because is that even possible? No. You need someone kind of, I, I don't like to use the word middle-aged, older in years but a bit sexy to play Han Solo. I'm giving that one to Bradley Cooper. Because there are very few people that like gentlemen that do not find Bradley Cooper appealing. So at Bradley Cooper, I'm giving Princess Leia to Emma Stone because I do think she's a fantastic actress and I think she is stunningly beautiful. She's got something almost quite doll-like about her. Um, quite, I just think she would play someone quite regal really well. And for look, I chose, it had to be someone quite young, I chose Joe Carey, who plays Steve Harrington in Stranger Things. He's just quite a quirky individual. I would like to see a little bit of edge added to, to look. So yeah, Joe Carey from Stranger Things for me, for my look. There we go, folks. That is the 10 question, what would you do? Which I'm sure you will admit is a fun one. Um, I'm going to pass this on to a few people now, obviously. Don't feel obliged if um, you don't usually do tags. And at the same time, if I haven't tagged you, please don't think you have to be tagged. As Leo said, the more the merrier. So if you want to do it, feel free to get involved. So I am going to tag. I'm only going to tag three people because I'm trying to tag different people than I normally do. Um, I'm going to tag Geeky Hijinks, um, Man of Movies and Sean from Lost in the Real because I love to see his just workings out of things. So that's three guys tagged. Um, I will let you know somehow through comments on videos. Um, thank you for watching, folks. As I say, don't feel that you have to be tagged to do this tag. Leo said he would like to see as many people as possible. But if you do it, obviously link it back to Leo at Geek Legion of Doom so he can check and he can see all your answers. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, I will look forward to catching up with you next time. Over and out from Lisa Loves.